What's up Starlight Aquatics? This is Danny with a review of a product that I just grabbed for the aquarium. It's a submersible heater. It maintains the water temperature and it's got the upgraded auto temp technology. It's made by uh, Tetra and 30 to 60 gallons is what this one is rated for. They have them for all other sizes. Um, this one is the one appropriate for mine because I am running a 60 uh, gallon marine land. And I'll flip it over and show you a little bit of the, uh, the features on it. And this bad boy is 200 watts. Of course it comes with a two year warranty. No adjustments required at all. It's safe. Easy to conceal. That's very true. Simple to use. That is very true. This thing has been pretty daggone good. I am more than happy with it, honestly. I was skeptical about it not being able to be uh, adjusted, but as long as you have a thermostat in your tank, it shouldn't be a problem as long as you know that that's there to back you up and that it continues to do what it's supposed to do. So... A little cheap thermometer, probably a must. They're cheap. You can get them for a couple bucks, and then you can always tell uh, exactly where your your heater is and where it's uh, where it's taking it to. Which uh, this one, like I said, it maintains the water temperature. Its electronic thermostat automatically maintains water temperature at 78 degrees. Is where it keeps mine at. Um, it has uh, prevents overheating, extend extending heater life. No adjust, nah, no adjustments are necessary, guys. With this heater, it has the indicator light, lets you know when the water is being heated. Red light, and it is a uh, silicon carbide crystals improve heat distribution and transfer. That kind of got my attention. I dig it. A uh, strong glass tube is heat and shock resistant. Another great feature. Another great feature. 200 watt heater. Got it for, uh, I think it was about 25 bucks. Uh, like I said, this needs no adjustments. You plug it in and it does its job. It's been in an aquarium for two days, I think, uh, roughly. And uh, there it is, along with uh, my current temperature, which you see it's, uh, you know, it fluctuates, but it brings it right back up, right as uh, it brings it up. There'll be a light right in the middle of where the uh the plaques the bad the plastic uh suction cup and the bubbles start where it's actually heating it looks like this if you see right underneath the two it has the little red light that will be where that lights up this heater is about seven inches i'd say it's uh, easy to conceal, and it does a really good job. So, best bang for your buck, find one of these. Tetra Submersible Heaters. I'm not getting paid for this, guys, but like I said, I'm going to bring good products to you. If I believe in them and if I trust them, you best believe I'm going to pass on the word. And uh, the winter time is coming. It is, uh, it is actually now December. So, uh, this is going to be a pretty good thing to have to keep, help keep my uh, water solid. I put that bad boy up and down, straight, right in between both of the main, uh, you know, the intakes for the filtration. And uh, I do have my... My... Uh, 
bad boy uh, power head over there. That's going to be in an upcoming video. <clears throat> that thing's been great. I can show you guys uh, some pretty cool tricks with power heads. But uh, as always, this is Starlight Aquatics. I hope you enjoy this review. And uh, go out and get yourself one.